This is, I'm gonna get a little emotional actually. So I've been playing piano since I was four, okay? Um, I've been a working professional for 20 years. Um, this is the first performance I get to play in two years. It's the longest I've gone without playing since I was five in terms of an audience. And so, um, and I might be considering that uh, just because of my life situation, I got kids and uh, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna do this. I'm not alone in this, but the impact of COVID in my life, in my field, in my job, in my family, it can't be overstated, as it was for everybody. It was a catastrophe. My job got obliterated. So there's my job, my income, the thing that I've been raised and trained to do since the time I was four years old, gone. The thing that drew me to music was that interaction with people. That got torn from everyone. I think that trauma and that shock of that, we haven't quite gotten over it. I've had kids come up, can I have a hug? I mean, absolutely, always. I've always considered my interaction with the students to be the best part of my concertizer. Thank you guys and good morning. I can't tell you actually how much of a privilege it is to be here at Mill Creek. Everyone's been to this kid's piano recital where the kid comes on stage like this. Thank you guys. The reason why I'm so inspired to perform for and work with young people, I was seeing that so many students in New York City had never been to a concert. Either A, they couldn't afford it, or B, they didn't have access to it. There was no interest. And that's the moment I was like, you know what? Who is music for? Is it only for those people who can afford it? Only for those people who have been affluent enough to be able to experience it, whose parents were, you know, had the interest to take them. And so that's when I started, when I would go play a concert in a town, hey, I'd like to stay a couple days, I'd love to go into the schools and play with them. I love the transformation of an audience who's never seen it before. Their interest is sparked, and then it turns into a joy, and then it turns into an obsession, as has happened with young people I've interacted right here in this very town. I could actually show you an entire world in just a couple seconds of music. The story of this is this was one of my first concerts as a pianist, as a professional. I played at Carnegie Hall, the most famous concert hall in the world. And I played a whole classical performance of Mozart, Beethoven, Chopin classical concert. But at the end, I was like, man, I really want to get a shout out to my friends. I can see in the poor seats way in back. So I came on stage. I was in a full, you know, tuxedo, you know, bow tie. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Music in my life is often been inspired by heroes. But when I was young, my hero was this man. <laughs> what I think is very special about Kent is that the administration from the mayor's office on down has always been very, very supportive of the arts programs in the city and particularly in the schools. Funding for the arts is always a challenge. It's the first things that cut, and it's the last thing to be put back in. But because I think the city has always supported these programs, and the, and the, and the Parks Department, of course, has had the ability to put on really, really great 
world-class performances. It brings the world to the doorstep of the community here. It enriches the community. It brings it together in a way that you know, only the arts can. Because of that, by putting me in schools, I've managed to find a community here that are some of the best friends that I have. And so whenever I ask, get asked back, it's not if I'm going to come back, it's, it's when. After years and years and years of doing this exercise over and over and over again, I realized at one point I actually had achieved the superpower of being able to separate my mind from my body completely. So I could do something very complicated, you know, in my hands and not even have to look at the keyboard anymore, but I could actually have a conversation with you about something very different. Let's talk about video game for a second. Video game music has now achieved a symphonic sound and complexity have ascended now, I think, to the level of great classical symphonies. I have a long history with, uh, with Kent Meridian High School. Uh, there was a young man that I met there, Arias McWhorter. We bonded, not necessarily over music, initially we did, but over video gaming. And the game that we bonded over was Halo. It like, weird, it brought people together in killing each other. And so when I came here, having this connection with Arias in this video game, I was like, why don't we have the choir sing Halo with me? The version we have is like nothing you've ever heard. You will get nerd chills. Yeah, so you got, oh, that sounds so ridiculous. That sounds so sick, dude. Oh, okay, I'm getting nerd chills. I don't know if you're getting nerd chills, but I got nerd chills. Okay. All right, be seated for just a okay. moment. Yeah, just a second. Okay, great. Where's my sticky grenade? Okay. The greatest privilege I've had about coming to Kent is the chance to work with and play for and meet the wonderful young people here in Kent. And I've always been humbled by the raw talent, the enthusiasm of the music programs here. And now that I am back, I've said to myself, I cannot play this concert if I don't have my friends join me. Ladies and gentlemen, my arrangement of Victory forever. I've been waiting to do that for like 20 years, guys. 20 years, thank you so much. Another hand for the Kent Meridian Choir. Learning to perform and take that risk in front of other people is a critical skill for young people no matter what field they go into. If you haven't practiced how to present yourself, take a risk and be able to articulate why you're valuable. Your life trajectories can be very different if you've never learned how to do that. And I think music training is one of those things that's, that is able to do that. 
we can be stronger together, we can come out of this pandemic stronger together. And that's my hope, and that I, I hope I'm able to have the opportunity to continue performing so that we can bring people from different backgrounds and they can experience a moment of beauty together. And I am so grateful to the city of Kent and this community uh, for allowing me to do that after so many years.